Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, storm just a few hours away, the leading edge of the precipitation now entering uh, western New England and upstate New York. We take a look at live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. Now you can see plenty of uh, precipitation off to our south and west. The colors represent precipitation type. Uh, the green is rain. Uh, the pink is a, is a mixture of either sleet or freezing rain. And the blue back here is in the form of snow. So this is arriving overnight. Now initially, especially north and west of Providence, northwest corner of the state, the temperatures are marginally cold and this precipitation may start as a little bit of wet snow sleet and freezing rain, but even there, a change to plain rain is likely. I mean, Providence points south and east, temperatures are above freezing, but to the north and west, just near the freezing mark. So up in this blue zone for say one to three hours, there'll be a little bit of a frozen uh, mixture. But again, the warmer air will eventually win out and it will change to plain rain. The other facet with the storm system will be the wind and quite strong. A high wind uh, advisory, the areas in pink from four o'clock in the morning tomorrow through one o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Now it'll be very windy everywhere, but the strongest winds in these pink locations near the south shore. Winds may be gusting up to 50 miles per hour. Winds of that magnitude, you can sometimes get power interruptions. And be careful on some of these elevated spans, bridges like the Pell Newport Bridge, uh, um, Mount Hope, bridge, the Sakonet River Bridge, some of these higher bridge spans with these strong winds. You just hold on to the steering wheel and be aware that the wind will be very strong during the morning uh, commute. Temperatures uh, for the most part are very mild. It's up in northern New England where the colder air is located and that's where the most snow will fall with the system. As we widen out the view and check out the uh, satellite and radar composite, there's one storm system off to our south that's moving through the Great Lakes, but a secondary one will take over overnight through tomorrow morning and that'll be the primary storm as far as rain and wind. Futurecast starts off at 11 o'clock this evening and beyond, showing the precipitation working in. Some snow to our north, most of the snow in blue in northern New England. Here in southern New England, some uh, wind-driven heavy rain. This is 8 o'clock in the morning. It's already in the 40s. Notice the bulk of the heavy rain during the afternoon will lift to our north. So the strongest wind and the heaviest rain during the morning, it eases up a little bit during the afternoon, but still the chance of a shower tomorrow afternoon. As far as accumulations, it's really the Mass Pike points north and the high elevations of northern New England uh, getting the most snow with this. So it's a wind-driven heavy rain late tonight towards daybreak becoming very windy around 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, temperatures mid and upper 30s. A lot of rain and some strong wind. A lot of some extra travel time tomorrow morning, 38 to 44. And then during the afternoon, the wind not as strong, the rain not as widespread, but still some showers. Look at the temperatures, upper 40s to low 50s. I want to show you one more accumulation map. And while we're expecting mainly rain, watch right up in here overnight, there may be a little bit right in here of a slushy coating, say north of Route 44, northwest of Route 295, but all of this will wash away. And again, if you have travel plans out towards Worcester County and beyond points north, uh, look for icy and snowy travel. A lot of wind and rain tomorrow morning, drying out by tomorrow afternoon. A few scattered rain and snow showers on Friday, nothing significant, and then much, much colder weather Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with daytime highs only 20s and 30s. What's deceiving about that 47 on Friday, that will occur at around 6 o'clock in the morning. The temperatures will drop rapidly Friday afternoon and Friday evening. But the main concern, the strong wind and the heavy rain late tonight and especially tomorrow morning. All right, we'll keep an eye on it. Yep.